Hi, I'm B-Rad. Welcome to the B-Rad Video Show. Today I'm at the Toronto Gaming and Collectibles Expo, and I'm hoping to find something cool. So let's go in there and check it out. How are you guys doing? Hi. Good, how are you? Good. So, I mean, I've been here. Even at the AMW, I'm like, sorry to harass me like this, but I'm very particular with what I like. I'm very really interested in what you want to do. <laughs> Take it up and down in the freight elevator. Which meant we had to go all the way out. And the way the lighting would work. The reflection and the being on the street. I like uh, some stuff. It depends on what it is, I guess. I like the Borderlands series. That's pretty cool. That's the right combination between shooter and cartooniness. Yeah. Where are you coming from? Oh, yes, you're going You have tons of stuff. Thanks. <laughs> Your inventory takes up most of the room. Yep. <laughs> 
Yeah. A lot of people like look at the stuff like the, the big transport there is about including all the internal filling bits is about six hundred dollars. Okay, let's not put it out because I don't want it to get lost. Yeah. Uh, I reckon I always recommend people you can get a three D printer for themselves because it's amazing fun. Um, but when it comes to something like this, yeah, I mean it'll take you about two. <laughs> All right, I'm back from the Toronto Gaming and Collectibles Expo. Um, it was the first time I've ever been there. I think it was the first event they ever had. Um, it was pretty small. I don't want to beat the crap out of it too much, but it was the smallest event I've ever been to. I really don't think it was worth the price of admission. I've been to ones that are quite a bit bigger, and uh, they were either free or even just two dollars. Um, uh, not that it was really expensive. Again, there was only five dollars, but usually the five dollar ones are quite a bit bigger. Anyway, um, I kind of felt bad for some of the vendors too. I, I guess pretty much all of them. I don't know all the vendors, but I knew some of the vendors there. And uh, you know, they haul their stuff there and they pay for their tables. And uh, you know, it wasn't a big enough venue to draw an audience. And uh, um, I'm sure being a vendor wasn't that great. Anyway, I went there to get some stuff, uh, see what I could find for myself, and I did find a few things. Um, so it wasn't a complete loss for me. I ended up getting a bit of footage, which uh, you guys got to see. So um, I'm going to show you what I got. Okay. First, I got a couple of games here. I got these from Flavio. He's one of the vendors there. He's a really cool guy. And uh, uh, hopefully you made out well, Flavio. Anyway, uh, first I got Tiny Toon Adventures 2, uh, Trouble in Wacky Land. I haven't played this one. I played the first one, but and I like that one a lot. So I'm excited to try this one out and see what it's like. And I also got uh, Bubsy in Claws Encountered of the Fur Kind for SNES. And I played this, I remember renting it as a kid, and I liked this quite a bit. It kind of reminded me of Sonic because you can move around pretty fast, and uh, I think there's like uh, uh, just a neat obstacles in the level design, and uh, you can zip around pretty quick. Kind of reminded me of Sonic, but Sonic's still better. Um, fun game. Thanks for those, Flavio. Um, next, I got a copy of uh, Mega Man X2 for PS2, and I haven't played this one. I'm curious about it because it's uh, like a 3D Mega Man, at least that's what it looks like, and um, I'm used to the side-scrolling 2D Mega Mans, which I love playing, but uh, I like the Mega Man X game. I've only played uh, the very first original Mega Man X for SNES, but uh, this is Mega Man X7, and uh, we'll see what it's like. It was pretty cheap, so I'm glad I picked it up. This is the final game I got. Uh, this is a Game Gear game. It's Garfield Caught in the Act. It's a Garfield game. I've never played it before. I used to like Garfield uh, comics when I was a kid. and uh, So hopefully this game's alright. It was really cheap anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Anyway, what do you guys think about the pickups I got? Did anybody go to that event? Um, I'm guessing you probably did it because I didn't see hardly uh, too many people there. Um, anyway, please let me know in the comments what you think. Also, please like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and then tap that bell icon to get more updates of the B-Rad Video Show. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time.